Hi, this is Smitty again from Smitty's Sweatshop right here in my garage with another episode of How to Do Things. Today we're going to sharpen a screw. I had to cut off this screw because, well, I got into a stud that was had a pine knot in it, so the screw was too long. So I just whacked it off with a hacksaw, and we're going to show you how to put a point on this screw. All right, there it is. That's the famous yellow bench grinder from Harbor Freight Tools. I'm sure everybody's got one. So you can see regular grinding wheel here, but if you try to hold this against that grinding wheel, or even if you try to hold it with a pair of pliers, you're not going to get a good point on it. It's going to wobble all around. You're going to cut your finger, and and it'll be it won't even be even. So we're not going to do that. Okay, so I have mounted the broken screw in my drill and because the chuck wants to grab only the thin head of the screw it's hard to keep it straight in the chuck so that's just a plastic wall anchor I ran the screw through the plastic wall anchor so that when it goes in the chuck it'll help stabilize it keep the chuck and the drill I mean in the screw bit running straight. So I'm going to turn it on now. See it's running pretty true. Okay. Okay so safety first. So I'm going to put on my safety glasses and these are the coolest glasses. A good good friend of mine who owns a shop in Texas got these for me. If you look real close since we're over 60 years old I can. it's got the magnifiers in the bottom part of the lens. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see there's a there it is right there. So for us old geezers, you can wear safety glasses and still actually see what you're doing. I've turned on the lathe, and I'm about to come at it with my drill here. It's hard to hold the camera and the drill at the same time, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start running the, start running the drill. You come at the uh, grinding wheel. All right, let's check it out. Pretty good. Needs a little more, but you can see it's a very concentric point that I'm putting on the drill, on the uh, screw, because of the rotating screw and the lathe going sort of in opposite directions. All right. So in the interest of time, I cut a lot of that out because I wanted you to didn't want you to see the sparks fly. You've probably seen sparks fly before. So that's a pretty decent point there. And I guess that's it. Tune in again for how to do things from Smitty's Sweatshop. Thanks for watching.